Hi, my name is Dr. Reza Houston, and I'm an assistant professor of finance at Ball State University. Now, I've been teaching at Ball State for about, oh, four and a half, five years now. And about a year ago, I got the opportunity to teach a new class, a fintech class. And of course, I jumped at the opportunity. Uh, so I was given an extremely wide degree of freedom in, to essentially develop this course. And I put together the course and ended up teaching one section of the course. However, as I was going along, as I was teaching the course, I realized, you know, this material, the next time I teach this, is going to be very, very different. I mean, fintech, it's, it's rapidly changing. Uh, we have new technology. So a year from now, two years from now, whenever I teach this course next, I may be talking about some things that are completely different. And so what I wanted to do was put together all of my lectures, record all of my lectures, uh, you know, kind of put a nice glossing on the class and make sure that more people than the people that just took my course this past semester could actually, you know, understand what fintech is, what the advances are in fintech, and where the financial industry is headed. So that's the purpose of this, this series of videos that uh, you should see following this video. Uh, so just to give you a quick background, I taught this fintech class called Introduction to Fintech, Fin299X, in the fall of 2022 at Ball State University, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, I covered essentially a basic overview of fintech, and I also included some additional advances in finance. I covered the basics of fintech, so things like cryptocurrencies, blockchains, what is a smart contract, what is an, what is an API. And so the goal here is to give anyone who watches these videos uh, as much information as I provided my students in the class. I want you to have an understanding, if you've gone through these videos, of where the financial industry is, where we are with our understanding of fintech, and you know, essentially where we're likely to head five, ten years from now. Now, to give you a sense of what I'll be covering in the next several videos, Here's an outline of the class that I taught. The first two weeks were very 30,000 foot view. So I covered the introduction to FinTech. I described uh, you know, the basic industries or areas of finance. And I covered how FinTech is uh, being adopted in domestically in the United States. Uh, then I covered how it's being adopted worldwide. So in emerging markets, developing markets. And then about week three, that's when I started to dive into what I think most people tend to think of when they think of fintech. So what is a blockchain? What is a cryptocurrency? What is an altcoin, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, etc.? After about week seven, that's when I started to focus on specific industries. So the banking industry, the investment industry, uh, wealth management, so financial planning, robo-advising, uh, pay tech, reg tech, insure tech, and then near the end of the class, I put a essentially a capstone on this material. So that final week of the lecture material I covered, here's where we've been, here's how COVID affected fintech, and here's where we're likely headed five, ten years from now. Uh, so my goal here is that if you watch these videos, you should have an understanding of the value of fintech and how it's changing the financial industry. Okay, so uh, where can you find the additional resources besides these videos? Well, I have a personal website. If you want to go to just like rezahouston.com under the teaching tab, this is where I'm going to put all of my PowerPoints. I also, throughout the course, created a Quizlet. So if you've ever used flashcards, this is where I put all my definitions throughout the course of the semester. So if you want definitions, you can find them here. Uh, I just called it Introduction to FinTech, Ball State, and creator was Reza underscore Houston. Okay, so I hope you get something out of these videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, you can find my information on my website. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, with me it's just rhouston at bsu.edu. And I look forward to the feedback. So thank you.